Grady, how'd the workout go today? It was great. I mean, I felt like I, you know, went out there and was myself. You know, that's what I try to do in a lot of these workouts. I'm going there and, you know, give them a little taste of um, what I can potentially be for their um, team. So. What are you hoping to show teams that you can do during this process? Um, you know, first and foremost, you know, what um, got me here is my shooting, um, a big part of it. Um, but coming here and, you know, it's a different play style with the NBA level of, you know, just a wide open floor, um, more so than college. So just coming here and, you know, show more versatility, um, get to my spots on, on the court where I can, you know, shoot the volume of shooting that I, that I can do. Other than your shooting, what do you think are your skills that translate best to the NBA? Um, when I've, you know, maybe hit a couple, you know, be able to pump fake, um, get guys in the air, but just get around them and show my, um, you know, finishing around the rim, above the rim, um, stuff that I can do, show the athleticism really, and just show a more um, full, full, you know, kind of area of my game where you know, I can excite the crowd in the arena and stuff like that. What'd you take away from your year at Kansas? Um, you know, a dream come true. Um, it was my dream school growing up. And, you know, to be able to, you know, go in those shoes, you know, playing for Coach Self, Hall of Fame coach. And, and Allen Fieldhouse was, you know, everything that I've, I hoped for and dreamt for. So uh, definitely a huge blessing. You know, it helped me propel me into um, this kind of level of basketball. And can't do anything but thank it. So You mentioned in the Combine that Reggie Miller is one of the guys mm -hmm. you study. Obviously makes a lot of sense as a shooter. But what is it about Reggie's game that you like so much? I think one of the most, you know, kind of underrated parts of it, um, guys like him, you know, Steph Curry is their, their conditioning. You know, I've talked about it a little, but the way they can, you know, everyone sees them, you know, making shots, but it's kind of the stuff where a lot of people don't really look too close into it, just the way they're running up and down the court um, nonstop, you know, exhausting the defense um, and being exhausting themselves, but still being up, uh, able to get shots up and, you know, make them in crunch time is definitely, you know, underrated. What do you know about the Pacers and how could you see yourself potentially fitting in here in Indiana? Um, it's super intriguing. You know, you got a, a place like this where I've talked about where, you know, you go to different locations, you know, you can kind of either have a good location with the city or you can have good people. And it seems, you know, my first you know, couple of days here that you have both and um, kind of best of both worlds where you kind of come in and, you know, go to the play style. You know, you got a point guard, one of the best point guards in, in the league with Tyrese where he can, um, you know, I see where kind of my play style, I play best where I can kind of play off point guards, you know, back at Kansas with Dewan and um, one of the best point guards I played with. So, you know, you put a point guard like that um, with me, I feel like it can be, you know, fun, a fun way to play for sure. As you sit down with teams, what's your pitch to them? What are they getting if they draft you? Just a player that's going to come in and, you know, it's kind of the cheesy answer, but it's like honestly what I try to um, perfect every time I go on the court and someone that's willing to go out there and do everything in their power to win. Um, a guy that's going to go in and um, any role that he's given, you know, not try to be anything that he's not. You know, I know my game best because, you know, it's my personal game, so I know what I can go out there and do and provide for a team. And, you know, I think I give that 110%, you know, energy anywhere I go. So. I know your mom had a really accomplished basketball career. What influence did she have on you as a player? A ton. I mean, she really taught me everything that I knew at a young age. You know, my high release was, you know, her high release. Um, she never really shot threes. I don't think she took a three in her career, but <laughs> that's really, you know, what I do. And um, I think, you know, her and my dad really just teaching me consistency is key. And, you know, when I'm beating my shots up every single day, that's what's going to, you know, propel me into the shooter that I'm, you know, dreaming to be. So, now You've got a tie to the Pacers right now and that you went to high school with Kendall Brown. Have you mm -hmm. had a chance to visit with Kendall at all during this trip? Yeah, we went to, we saw Boogeyman last night. So <laughs> we <laughs> went to the movies, um, just, you know, sat down and talked and um, really just picking his brain about, you know, a place like this. And it's a big advantage for sure. We're a week away now from draft night. What's it going to mean to you when you hear your name called? It's, it's, you know, it's hard to say right now because, um, you know, I've been thinking about, you know, this moment since I first started playing basketball, you know, been the dream from, from day one. So uh, it's hard to say. It's going to be just raw emotions that come out and, you know, I'm looking you know, forward to it.